My name, Barrington Patterson, aka Zulu One Eye Baz. Baz Barrington is a top boy in the Zulus, a violent hooligan group with a mixture of ethnic backgrounds. Their allegiance is to Birmingham City. Oh, at the end of the day, there's only one team that controls the city, that control Birmingham, and that is Birmingham City. Ferocious on their own patch, they tolerate no opposition in their native city, particularly from their rivals, Aston Villa. In this Birmingham Villa clash, 40 police officers were injured in the disorder. Villa ain't got no saying in Birmingham. Villa have never had any saying in Birmingham. Even the city centre, Blues rule the city centre. No matter where Villa are and they see Blues there, Villa have to fuck off. Whilst we rule the town, this is our town. Aston's only a small place in Birmingham. This is Zulu territory. People from outside Birmingham who don't know about the Zulus, they think it's a black thing. You know, the Zulus has never been a black thing. It's a black and white thing. It's a black, white, Asian, no matter what nationality you are, and you support Birmingham City, you're a Zulu. So it's just not just a black thing. We're warriors, we don't fear nobody. You know, you get all these teams, especially like these London teams, they think they rule the football hooligan round, 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 um, round England. No, we do. You get them, all them clubs coming down here, think they can control us in our manner. Nah, it ain't happening, man. In 2002, the notorious battle of Rocky Lane was fought in Villa territory. 15 arrests were made. I didn't really make it down to Rocky Lane. I got there a bit late because we were the taxis and the traffic, but I heard it. Right. Everyone stood toe to toe. Uh, you know, Villa gave as good as, good as Blues got. You know, they'll, they'll both fight it for ages, even before the old bill comes. So I heard a lot about it, you know. Guys getting clattered left, right, and centre, and it was going off. It was going off proper, good, full-on battle. It'll never be forgotten, you know, because especially like with Millwall, Millwall, yeah, you know, they reckon they're the best team, the hardest team in in London. You know, we, we, we went onto their manor, we, br we brought it to them, you know? People like Leeds, they, you know, they had their day. Before, during and after the second division game, fans clashed, resulting in one death and many injuries. Lord Justice Popplewell described the scenes as more like a court than a football match. A reunion of sorts occurred when Man City entertained Birmingham in October 2007. There's always been a bit of history around Man City because that's where the name Zulu is originated from, at Man City game. So when when, they, when we did face Man City again, it was a reunion. You know, it was all, and all the top lads went, people who had been to football matches for years, everyone turned up there, and we even took Man City's main pub. You know, <laughs> and you know, a lot of the guys said to me they've never seen a firm come to Man City like what we brought to Man City. West Ham come down here. West Ham were one, you know, in their day, they were one of the worst teams out. The OCF were one of the worst teams out. Worst firms out, until they came down here. And we showed them what's what. The versatile Zulus have been known to don fancy dress, which they did when they visited Crystal Palace in 1989. All I can remember about Crystal Palace is, you know, I think it was the last match of the season and then times a lot of people yeah, fancy dress, you know, and it, was, it was just unbelievable. You know, there was Hitler running on the pitch, there was, there was this running on the pitch, there was a Zulu man dressed in a Zulu running on the pitch and it was, it was, it was all done in a laugh, you know, especially with the Blues, like, everyone tanked up, everyone touched up, and that, that's all it was. Then, in 2006, 200 Birmingham fans tore down fencing, separating them from Stoke City fans after an FA Cup match in which fighting erupted. Police were attacked in what a senior officer described as extreme violence. We were held behind by the, by the police and all you could see, we were trying to rip down the fence to get out the Stoke fans, but we could not get out. There were some Blues fans that were out there already having it, having it off. But the main, you know, the main lads, most of the main lads were we're all stuck inside the ground because we couldn't, we couldn't get out. 
Oh, Leicester's been up there, man. You know, I've had some good battles with Leicester. At Leicester in a, in a, in a way, so... Yeah. West Brom, you know, they've got a good firm as well. They've got a nice little tidy firm. Dude's got a kick! Dude's got a kick! Every time Blues play West Brom, you know, we all, we all, end, we all most of the time we always end up in Answorth, and Answorth is, that's where I come from, you know what I mean? So West Brom is, West Brom going all up the road, and especially like when you have loads of Blues walking up the side of the road, and it, the atmosphere is just un unbelievable. So, you know, they've got a large black supporters as well. Yum yums. Not as bad as Villa, but they're just ten a penny. Yeah. Yeah, you got really nothing to say much about Wolves there. Yeah. Yeah. So, little dice, little tidy firm, but you know the game. But not up to scratch. These incidents ensure that hooligan succession is in safe hands. The young lads, man, you know, they're stamping their authority now. You know what I mean? Yeah, you know, they're trying to take over from the from the old a lot, but it's still got a couple of years to go. But yeah, you know, they're a firm to be reckoned with, and I don't think most of these young firms around the Midlands or around London can take these these young Zulus. Yeah, you know, firm to be reckoned with, man.